So here we have a model to show how different birds have evolved to have different shaped beaks in the Galapagos Islands. Here we've got representing big beak and little beak. So the big beaks should be good at picking up big things and the little beaks should be good at picking up little things. So these beaks are on finches. These are called Darwin's finches. And me and Mr. Corshaw are going to have a race to see who is better adapted at picking up the tiny seeds. Are you ready, sir? I'm ready. Three, two, one. Oh, God. Oh. And stop. How many have you got, sir? Uh, I think I've got ten. I'm lying as nine. Nine, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So, I think we can conclude that little bigs are good at picking up little things. We certainly can. Right then, let's try and give big beaks an advantage and do some big things. So this time, we are picking up something slightly bigger to see how we will get on. Now, are you ready, Mr. Corshaw? Ready. Go. Oh, mine looks quite fit on it. Get on it. Put my finger in between it to open it up. That's it. I've got, I've got a technique now. I've got a technique. Stop. Yeah. How many have you got, Mr. Corshaw? Uh, I've got about 72. Filthy liar. Or maybe it's four. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, seven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen million. I win. Yay! So we can conclude big beak for big seeds, little beak for little seeds. Well done, Darwin.